It's so much fun to have a garden right outside your back door, and that's why we helped you make this raised bed. So on my corn team, my lovely assistant Bill, we can get a little closer than six feet apart, and we want to show you how to set up an irrigation system. So it's nice to have an engineer around. Thank you. You're welcome. What's my first step? So the first step is, is take an inventory of what your parts are. So we have the adapter that goes to your hose. You can see it has a built-in mm -hmm. filter on it also. And then there's this adapter on right here that starts this that will Easy. get your drip line okay. into that. We can do that now, can't we? Just tighten it up? Sure. Okay. And what about the nozzles? So you have some four-way nozzles here, some three-way nozzles. This is the nozzle. It's a spray nozzle. It goes down in scent into the uh, soil. soil itself okay. yep and then here's some stakes to hold it in place a okay. couple other things we need you'll need a drill yep so i use the inch and three eighths for to drill the hose for the adapter to okay. come through and i found my little snips we're gonna need this to cut the hose well we get a lot in that little kit don't we yes you do okay so i'm gonna set this aside and you tell me what you need okay i'll be your little assistant Oops. okay what's first so what the manufacturer recommends is that you have one disbursement point per square foot okay. but what we're going to do first is we're going to put the hole in the side here as you can see here and the reason why i want to do that is it's going to contain the holes inside here yeah. if there's some leakage at this point right here i still capture it inside the bed itself yeah that was a good idea if you pull that hose out a minute we were just going to slide it on top you just put the yeah but you said hey let's drill a hole inside the bed there you go and it looks better i know your mom really yes. wants this to be nice and neat okay yep so how about this so this is the adapter head as you can see right here it does have a place in there to catch any foreign objects if it comes mm -hmm. in your water line that filter. Right? and it captures in there also and this little guy that's our beginning end of our yep that's our beginning irrigation. distribution point and then we branch off from there okay so how many do i need for this small bed because it doesn't seem like i would need that many so what the manufacturer recommends is that you have one drip point per square foot okay so if i estimate this about two feet across and three feet long if i just split this down the middle like this and i go about another foot mm -hmm. and i go about another foot you'll see i have one two three four five six okay. five excuse me six different points where i need distribution okay as far as the water goes all right and so how we want to kind of lay this out ahead of time yep. because we'll cut the hoses to fit the nozzles for each spot so where would you like to put the nozzles so i'm going to start with a t that comes off like this nozzle hose nozzle hose nozzle come across right here hose nozzle hose nozzle hose nozzle okay from our distribution point right here you can see the major distribution point so i'm going to hook on one small piece right here and then i'm going to hook on essentially this three-way barb so then i'm going to plug this in like this and then i'm going to cut a piece of hose that starts for this trunk line right here then i'm going to come back over here and then go this trunk line down this way to get all six corridors this isn't too hard i think your mom will like the fact that she doesn't have to get out here water every day don't you yes <laughs> I mean, she likes the garden she really likes the tomatoes and mm -hmm. onions that come out of it more than she likes to do it that's a lot of people though don't you think? Yes, and it's a con it, it, the thing that's nice about it too is my mom being a little older, right? It's a convenient height. So let's say when the weeds start, right? Don't tell her you said older. Oh. <laughs> she has a lot of life experience <laughs> about that. Okay, here's another one. What I did is, is to close the system right here, I added this loop piece in here to the barb to close it to make it a full circuit. And then I just use these stakes to put these down right okay. here. So. All right, I'll tuck everything in. Now this seemed to pop up a little bit. How can we tuck yeah. that down in? Yep. So what I did is I took a hanger i cut the ends off i'm going to use it as a makeshift stake so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to press it down here like this i'm going to move this down i'm going to take the point that would go on your your closet pole and i'm going to put that in there like this as a back pressure and you can see it's going to hold it right down in wow thanks for your help this looks really good next stop i think we just add plants i agree all right you get out there and get, get going, going.